In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add a HTML email signature to Gmail. The HTML email signature that I'll be adding to Gmail was built in a tutorial on the channel last week. So if you'd like to learn how to build it, I'll put a link to last week's video in the video description. First, you may notice that I have two different browsers open in the background. The reason for this is because when adding an email signature to Gmail in Chrome, it's known for adding underlines to the links in our email signature, which we want to avoid. So you'll need to log into your Gmail account in a browser separate from Chrome. So in the background, I have Safari open because I'm on a Mac, then I have Chrome open off to the side. So if you don't have Safari, you can experiment with other browsers like Firefox to see that the underline doesn't occur with the links once you have your email signature added to Gmail. So I'm gonna proceed with using Safari, then I'll move back over to Chrome. And the browser you use that isn't Chrome is where you'll need to open up the email signature. So as you can see, I have the email signature open here in Safari, which I'll come back to to copy the content of which First though, let's get set up in Gmail so we can add the signature. So go up to the gear icon for the settings, then select see all settings. And staying inside of the general tab, which that will open, we can scroll down to where it says create new for an email signature, and we can name it whatever we want. It doesn't really matter. No one else will see the name for it but us. So once you've done that, scroll down to find where you can select the email address you want the email signature to be attached to. So you can select your domain name email address and make sure you select new so the email signature is added when you compose a new email. Now we're ready to paste in our HTML email content. So let's go back over to the page here in Safari in my case where I have it open and I'm just going to drag across all of the content to make sure it's all highlighted and I'll copy it with command C. Then once you have it copied, we can go back over and paste it into Gmail. Also, I forgot to mention we have this beneath the for new email use insert signature before quoted text in replies option. So without this checked, we should have two dashes that will appear and separate our signature from the body of our email. In this example, though, I'm going to leave it checked so we can go straight into seeing our email signature in the email body. Then the last step is just to select save changes. So once we have it saved, we can put it to the test by composing a new email. So there we have the email signature displaying attached to the domain name email, and I'll send a test email to my other Gmail account just to show that it works properly for us. And I can also show you the dark mode version from my cell phone. And here we have it displaying in both the desktop version of Gmail and the Gmail app on my iPhone in dark mode. So with that, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more HTML email content, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications.